Seems like it's been there. We've had nades into you know dead spots where they can't see. And yeah. The only reason you would throw a nade there is if the communication was there. We've seen that from both sides. So the level of play has, has been pretty good so far. Yeah, I think we're in for a one of the actually best games thus far, even though it's train and uh, the scoreline will look a bit different, it might not look as close. I think that the start of this game has been by far the most interesting yeah. uh, today. If you, if you factor in the CT bias, I, I, I think this is going to yeah, be one yeah. of the closer games that we're going to see. Um, yep. I mean, the, the, the two teams are fairly evenly matched. Obviously, as more time passes, you would think that Navi will pick up the game. Should, um, should do. Should do. I mean, they've got all the, the fundamentals in place. Yeah. So it's not like they're going to have to learn how to play Counter-Strike. It's just that they're going to need to get the... Like, like literally, as I said, the oh. recall patterns. Now, we had a pause and an unpause. It looks like we are getting the restart. Um, just waiting for the rounds to tick over to the correct round count. And that means we will be live. So... Um, again, we've, we've alluded to this before, but it is an eSport function of CSGO where you can resume from, from where the game left off, and I am a big fan of that. Oh, that is so great, and it's happening all around in all the games as well. I yeah. d don't know if it's going on in League of Legends or anything, but uh, um, you no, have it in the They are specifically soon. tailoring it, yeah. yeah. The, 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 what you're seeing now is, and, uh, was it Activision? I think the head of Activision was actually uh, talking about this the other day. He was saying that basically um, eSports is going to become a much bigger sort of you know, uh, factor in, in actual uh, just casual games. Gaming. What you're going to see is you're going to see public players are going to start to move over into, much like in, in Go and, and LoL, where you have two separate forms of play for multiplayer. Yeah. You have ranked, basically, and you have unranked. Yeah. Um, as that becomes more the standard norm, you're going to see players start to move up into these professional teams who really wouldn't have known anything about the professional scene until they get to the, the upper tiers of those public ranked games. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's basically... It's, it's a good way of drawing new talent to the scene. Um, but anyway, take it, it away, mate. Yeah, I was going to say, it does look like we're live here. So tied up at three apiece, obviously, with uh, Navi taking the last round, which was their light buy. So they should be fully bought up here. Uh, much can be said, the same can be said for end faculty because they they the same on the uh, T side. So that buy does come in a little bit cheaper for them. Uh, now we are seeing the pop dog dive here from Kirby and Mantis. This is going to set up for, it looks like a, a two-sided split. In fact, it looks like they could probably be going T-sided mid as well. Three men down into pop dog now. Do we have one AFK? I hope not. No, it looks like he's just literally just sat there waiting. Whoa! Oh, uh, he's, he's playing, playing out smart. <laughs> he's playing it out smart as well. Looking for if there's any more players coming in. But I'm seeing pause on the stream here. That's probably why we're not shooting at each other. Yeah. Apparently, end faculty now want to stop. Oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, uh, wait. Um, yeah, there's a oh. stop. Fun and games. Looks like we, we're going to be on another restart here. I'm not quite sure what the issue is. Uh, it'd be nice to find out over, over chat, obviously. Uh, it looks like it is an issue with Disruptors. He's just disconnected. So, um, Best of a bad situation, I suppose. Let's discuss what we saw in the... Uh, what was the seventh round, though? Ah, okay. So ESC in the position that most people would expect. 13-2 to two over CRG at the moment. Um, that really Group C is is the group to watch, my money. Um, yeah, so I, I feel so bad for CRG. Yeah, so it's look at the draw, I suppose, but it, I, I think if they fell in a barrel of tits, they would come out sucking the thumb. <laughs> That's the kind of look that they have, basically. Um, so, unfortunate, and, and really for what is... I mean, the, the UK CSS scene was always pretty strong. 1-6, yep. definitely not. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, even four not. kings at the peak weren't... Yeah. Weren't they weren't world dogs. beaters. Yeah, no. they, they, I mean that you could you could play some top eight at a CPL event. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but never really, you know, top top five. You could you could you could never play. They were stable. That, the they peak. did well. Yeah, they, yeah. Were they, they were never Navi. They were never Fnatic. Exactly. SK. Exactly. Like, yeah. Whereas with CSS, the UK scene always had a good solid scene. You always had yeah. those sort of fifteen players, very incestuous scene, much like the French scene. Yeah. Uh, I suppose much like all scenes, they all ball around regions basically. Except for Norway. We yeah. We I didn't never have any good teams. Well, you say that, but I mean, the, the Norwegians <laughs> tend to jump between, you know, the ba basically I view Scandinavia as one sort of region. Too. Ah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Because you're all, you're all on super low ping anyway. <laughs> it's never really an issue, is it, to, no. to jump onto, say, a Swedish server and play for you nah, guys? No, 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 obviously. Um, so you, you did have that as a sort of, I wouldn't say advantage, because um, you are a smaller populace, so you've got less talent to draw from, but uh, you guys did all sort of club together, whereas the French, English, and German scenes, they've been very insular. Um, yeah. But the UK scene in CSS was, was very strong. I mean, you only have to look at, you know, Dignitas struck Salvo back yeah, in the day. Yeah, wow. um, you know, Power, when, when they were kicking, uh, at, you know, on all cylinders, they, they were also solid. Team. Well, Power had some help from Stinger. And this, this is true, this is true, but I, I still consider them a UK based team, even considering yeah, yeah. that Stinger was probably, for my money, the standout player in that team. Yeah, he kind of um, was, yeah. But, but I, th I think one of the reasons that he was able to stand out is that he had, you know, four solid players behind him. As per always, yeah. you, you need, uh, and that, that's the problem with imagine, uh, imaginary gaming as well. 
they have with Shoxi. Yeah, but, but he doesn't have him the backup yep. that he needs around him. He's, he, it's not, he's not a, you know, at the end of the day, he can't do it all on his own. So, um, you know, at the end of this event, I wouldn't be surprised to perhaps see Shoxi maybe look towards moving back towards very games, putting some feelers out. Um, yeah, if, if, if he was able to. Like yeah. uh, but like, like you said, I mean, very games are not going to be keen on making changes again. No. So I don't think so. Well, like, it will be tempting, but uh, I don't think the organization will uh, will allow it, to be honest. They've always been a stable and good team and a uh, respectful team and starting to go all UK, sorry. Uh, and change no, no, that's a that's very valid going. comment. Yeah. I mean, the, the UK <laughs> roster shuffles are well known. Yeah. Um, and that's part and parcel of the reason why we don't see the, the dearth of talent that is out there yeah. in teams at this tournament. Yeah. I mean, ov obviously, you know, the, the UK scene is starting to pull itself together a little bit. It is, um, it is. And we, 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 we will see UK representation at tournaments in the near future. But to be honest, I mean, are, are they so far behind in preparation now yeah, that yeah, it's gonna, yeah. they're going to struggle to get to that level of play? Do you, do you agree with that? Yeah, I totally agree. But uh, at the same time, I... Uh, well, I, I just 100% agree with you. The UK scene, uh, when it gets back on track, uh, they have so many strong players uh, with so much experience. And I think a lot of 1.6 players will be surprised at the actual skill level of uh, the the source players from yeah. the UK. Well, they're, they're obviously coming from 1.6, they're not going to know... Well, they're going to know slim to nil about the UK scene. Yeah, well, well, obviously, they're going to pick up on Salvo. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they're not, they're not going to know about you know the sort of... I wouldn't say mid-tier UK teams, but, but lower upper tier, let's say that, that, that should come along and that they're going to be capable of pulling off some upsets. Yeah, you know? players like Husey, for instance. Yeah, yeah Husey is, is a prime example. Yeah. I'm a massive fan of Husey's play style. Yeah. Never high progressive, never passive, always plays just the right amount Entertaining of aggression. Entertaining player. And, yep, not boring to watch by any stretch yeah. of imagination. Like, I think of the, um, you know, the door boost on Inferno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he yeah, picked yeah. up the, um, was it a five-man off that? I, I think, think it, was. it was a five, or yeah. a four-man, but it, it was, was It was insane. something that was very respectable yeah. for the position that he had, because usually that's good for like one or two kills on the exit of the door and then yeah. whoever's coming around uh, you know quad side usually picks you off but um, Hughes's play style and he's, he's just all around play I mean he's, he's not outstanding in any one aspect of the game like he's not the best aimer he's not got the best brain um, he doesn't have the best temperament like he can fall to pieces sometimes but when you couple the fact that he's be above average in every possible aspect of the game um, it makes him a, a, a very versatile utility player so I mean the, there are players like that out there that aren't getting much much dap at the moment and that will change yeah. Um, it's just whether that I do honestly believe now that the UK scene are going to be so handicapped by not being in from the get-go it's going to take at least a year for them to get anywhere near the standard of play that we're seeing now from the sort of you know second third and fourth place finishes I, I'm, I'm going to disagree with you really well you, you don't think it's going to in general I, I think you're right but players like like the teams that uh, Rattlesnake Snake put together uh, I think I think actually the team he puts together and uh, I, I think they will be pretty much top uh, five at the first event they go to. There's always a big question with Sam, though, and that's how much preparation has he actually put in? Well, he, uh, I, I think he's, uh, he's very good at making his team prepare when, the, when it's a new team. Oh, no, definitely. He does but, crack, but he does when crack they're the at top, but yeah, at the they, top, they, don't want, they don't practice at yeah. all, no. I mean, and it's been seen as well since you know, we left Salvo that he's, he's you know, jumped into rosters here and there. And really, we'd not seen the sort of, I wouldn't say level of commitment, because obviously he's still as passionate about the game. Yeah. Um, but it just seemed like he didn't have the time to the put time, it in. Yeah. yeah, basically, that's what it boils down to. Because without that CGS backing, it's very hard to put in you know, those six, seven hours a day practice that it requires to be that good with the AWP. So um, I wouldn't be surprised to, to, to perhaps you know, have a, a period of adjustment. Um, maybe, maybe a year is a, is, a, is a bit of an overestimation. It depends how many tournaments we get, I suppose. Yeah. Um, Obviously, with more land play comes more experience in go, and as you get more experience, the, uh, the results should improve, but everyone's on the same curve, basically. New yeah. game, everyone's picking up new little t you know, t uh, tricks and, 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 and so on and so forth, new flashbangs, new smoke bounces, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so I suppose, yeah, a year's probably, probably a, a bit incredulistic, but I, I could see it taking them up to six months to get to the standard where they should be at from you know, the get-go. If, if the UK scene would have pulled its socks up, and actually fielded, um, not taken away from, from CRG, but then by no stretch of the imagination, the best representation of the UK talent. They are not the cream of the crop no, at no. all, no. Uh, nice no. guys, don't get me wrong. Nice like guys and yeah. good guys, uh, yeah. like, I mean, in game as well. And they represent the UK well as, yeah. as well. I mean, it's, no, it's not like they're a terrible team or anything. No, it's no, just no, we have, no we have better talent out there. But it's just uh, facts. Yeah. Like, I was never the good player. I'm not going to cry about that. So it's just, you just have to handle the facts. Yeah. But, um, uh, 
Uh, I totally forgot what I was about to touch down on. Oh, I couldn't have been important. Anyway, just to <laughs> update you, we've got the uh, all ten players in server. Still no, uh, still no word as to why we've got the pause in. Um, I believe it was, in fact, it was over a disruptor disconnection that seemed to cause the pause. Um, but he's now back in server, so I'm not quite sure what the deal is here. Um, hopefully, we'll get some some word back from the admins. Obviously, with us being on a remote site. Uh, we don't have the level of communication that we would do where I would just get up from my desk and go and slap an admin until he gave me the answer, basically. Can't be done from here, so we are at the, uh, at the mercy. Now, it does seem like we've got Disruptor again leaving the game, so it does seem like the issue is with Disruptor's setup at the moment. Um, it's obviously not a server issue because we still have the, the server up and we still have the TV up, so we should be fine on that front, but really, I mean, for, for a game that showed so much promise, this is kind of descending into a little bit of a farce at the moment, which is a shame because it, it, the momentum shifts are something that you don't normally see on train. We've seen a lot of that so far. Um, no really outstanding plays from any one individual, but lots of good team play. Um, and for it to be marred by what is ostensibly, you know, issues that, that are out of everybody's control, really, you can't yeah. really blame the admins for it. If, it. if it is hardware issues or issues with a player setup, um, it's unfair to expect that player to then play on, you know, and suffer through the issues because that then diminishes not only his chances, but his four friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, they need to pause it, and I totally agree with it. It's just, uh, obviously, as a, when you're on the sidelines, it's going to be negative. I, I fully understand the frustration of every single viewer at home, uh, but I can tell you that uh, in no, it, it will not help at all uh, to complain about the delays. No. I'm not trying to m make people stop spamming or anything. I'm just saying that we are doing everything we can. We've got people here uh, directly in touch with the people at the event as well. Uh, we're doing everything we can to get this sorted out, and uh, we're try the second we hear anything, uh, we will of course, inform you. Yeah, we will relay it on to you as soon as, as soon as we hear it. We've got a solid production crew at Face It, so anything that they pick up on, that they let me know by talkback. So as soon as I know, you will know. Um, in the meantime, obviously, we, we, we're still sort of, um, you know, flogging a dead horse here, basically talking about what we've already seen. Um, let's talk some more about what we've already seen today. Obviously, the, uh, you know, Group A and Group B. A couple of surprises in there. I mean, very games falling off is, is obviously, you know, most people would expect them to perform better. Um, NIP looking a little bit shaky at certain points against um, against IMG. Yeah. Um, I think this could very well be an interesting tournament. It seems like uh, Nip at this point, obviously, they still got to be considered the favourites. Um, but I, I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe an interesting second place finish from somebody like, say, TCM. Uh, interesting fact, I just checked the statistics of Group A. Uh, NIP obviously won all of their games, uh, but they only lost 13 rounds. Cross As opposed the to everyone else losing, losing 41. Yeah, everyone yeah. else actually lost 41. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that's quite interesting. That, that's quite s uh, a strong st uh, statistic. So uh, I would have to say that they didn't really show a lot of weakness in the group stages. They are just continuing their incredible form. And uh, just I, I just hope for the sake of competitiveness and uh, for the viewer experience that we will see a very close final or semi-finals uh, that would also be good, but NIP needs to be stopped. I love every single player in that team. They are such uh, such good players and such a good gang of personalities, but they need to be stopped now. Yeah. It's not. It's not even. You, you could argue for the, you, Yeah, you could <laughs> argue for the good of CS:GO. It would be nice yeah. to have another, another tournament winner. But you're um, breaking CS:GO. No. I, I honestly think that the, the, the maybe the perhaps the more interesting fight here is for second place. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I mean, with very games looking, you know, as shaky as they are, with obviously having the communication issues and all, all the issues that we've we've documented so far, um, I think there's a chance we could see somebody like TCM step into the forefront and and start to pick up their game, because the, you know it's like blood in the water basically. You know, if, if TCM have that shark mentality and they get to play um, very games in the finals, they're not uh, in the semi final, I should say. They're not going to let up on them at all. They're not going to be intimidated by, uh, by VG one bit. Right, I, I'm going to give you the chance to predict. I'll uh, give you the chance to uh, predict the two teams for the second place. Which Oof. ones will you go who's for? Gonna, who's going to be... Ooh, that's a good question. <sighs> Off the back of that TCM performance, I was slightly impressed with TCM, but I think I'm still going to go very games. I think they're going to find that consistency they've been lacking. Um, really? Yeah, I, I do believe that. Right. I, th I think they're going to have a serious discussion. I think they'll just about scrape through uh, group stages, probably on the extended uh, extended groups. Um, when they do that, I think come come tomorrow, they will they'll reassess what's gone wrong um, and, and start to put it right. Because, th I mean, there's there's one thing with very games. They're not a team that is is known for repeating the same mistakes. 
Um, I mean, the, 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 what is it? The very definition of insanity is, compe is, is you know, doing the same thing and expecting yeah, different yeah, results. Yeah. They're not a team that you can you could you could label th with that sort of moniker. So, I would I would be very surprised to see them, you know, come out and play the same way that they, they have done uh, today, tomorrow. As if they make it to tomorrow, though, because there's yeah, a chance that they could drop. Yeah, it is. Um, but I, I, do, I, do, I do perceive them actually finishing second, but, you know, strange things have happened. Are you so confident that they will finish second that you're not going to guess for another? Oh, no, I'm, defi I'm definitely not that confident. I mean, <laughs> okay. when, it, when it boils down to it, um, I would like to see S be a little bit better than they have done. Because, you know, thinking, thinking way back to sort of the old PGS days and such, yeah. they were one of my... One of my I know as a commentator, you're not supposed to fanboy. No, no, um, but you, but you kind of in inevitable, kind inevitable. Of, yeah. you know, you start watching teams more and more. You start picking up on little things that they do that nobody else does. Um, you know, Cuban and the guys are, are over there. They've, they've always been solid. They've always been entertained to watch. So I, all I can think about when I think of uh, a VSC is that WCG event where um, the, the scout was bought on, a, on an eco round. Yeah. In fact, it, it was a full eco round, and there was one scout in playing it, won them the round, and got them back into the game. Really? On, on I did not map. see that game. Um, it was honestly, I think that's one of my favourite moments in, in any competitive game. And I'm, I'm one of the guys, like, people on stream will know me from CS, obviously, and, and more CSS. Um, but, like, way back in the day, I used to do, like, BF42. Uh, when I used to do TV stuff in the UK, it was always, like, Call of Duty on console and stuff. So I do, I do have quite, like, a varied background. Out of all the games that I've seen, thousands of hours worth of esports. Yeah, that is probably my favourite moment. All right. Um, so the, I, I do always have a soft spot for uh, for the guys from ESC. So it'll be interesting to see, I suppose, who, who does who does pick up a second place. There's like four or five teams that could conceivably do it, though. Um, oh yeah, without so any doubt. Yeah. yeah. I mean, who who would you say would be your two most liable picks? Uh, I'll do the most obvious first. I would. Uh, I will also say ESC because they uh, kind of got an early start to it as well. Like from uh, uh, 1.6 perspective. Yeah. They start out early. They have the passion for it. I, d I think they practice a lot. Uh, that's probably the most safe uh, bet. Uh, but I, I, I just see uh, team alternate attacks doing really well. I, uh, I seriously enjoy